let's look at the extra bits of information for general ledger and cost elements in simple finance. Now that cost elements have been merged with general ledger master data, there are some authorization issues which need to be resolved. Since creation of cost element master data using the KA01 or KA02 for change transactions are no longer permitted, everything has to be done via the GL master data transaction. So you need to change the user's authorization objects to point to the GL master data function so they can still continue doing their cost element transactions in the general ledger master data objects. The standard SAP role provided is FUCN underscore GL underscore accountant or just generally you can think of it as GL accountant. You can check it using the transaction code PFCG. Now these are all handled by the basis administrators. However, it's good to know that these are the objects which need to be given as authorizations for the users who are going to be allowed to change cost element master data details. I given the list of all these objects which are required and you can request your basis consultant to add all these objects to the relevant roles. Now for the purpose of certification, you don't have to know these IDs. This is just for information purpose only. What you need to know is how the authorization objects are handled by the new functionality where in the general ledger master data itself you can change all the relevant cost element master data as well and the users who had been pre previously using cost element master data transactions have now have to be given access to the general ledger master data as well. Let's have a look at the chart of accounts and the GL account group structure. To maintain this you go to your SPRO or the SAP customization menu and the menu path is still the same. Financial accounting new, GL accounting new, master data, GL accounts, preparation, edit chart of accounts list. So let me just execute that transaction. And here I have already defined my chart of accounts. ZCOA is my chart of accounts. And you can give a description for your own chart of accounts, ID, the language, the length of the GL account number. All this, the same screen is there exactly as it was in ERP6. Save your chart of accounts and let's go on to the assignment of chart of accounts to your company code. So that is this next transaction. Let's execute that. And here for your company code, you can assign your chart of accounts. And for my company code ZMNM, I have assigned my chart of accounts ZCOA. Let's go back. And we look at defining the account group. I'm quickly going through three transaction codes because I'm sure you're very familiar with this. Let's define the account group, execute the transaction. And here I have defined my account groups for the chart of accounts, assets, equity, expenses, liabilities, revenues. And for each of them, I have given a number range, a six digit number range. Now what you need to do in addition compared to what you used to do before in ERB6 is to add the secondary GL, secondary cost elements which are now going to be GL accounts. So you need to add the account group for that. Let's do that now. Click on new entries to add another account group. So I'm just going to click on that. Enter your chart of accounts. Once you start typing in itself, it automatically fills up for you with the possible entries and then enter the account.